God damn it, Miss Mahoney. Just admit it. We know you killed your husband. Some water, Miss Mahoney. Thank you. All right, Miss Mahoney, no need to be shy now. You can call me Charlotte. All right, Charlotte. Well, you're in a safe place. Now, could you just tell me what happened on the night of February 3rd? Well, it was a gloomy Tuesday night. And like usual, I was at home doing housework. Alfred usually gets home around 7, but that night he was a little later than usual. Um, and how much later was that exactly? I'd say about 8. I had just taken a quaalude and I was getting ready for bed. When Alfred got home, he went straight to the bar, ignoring me, to make himself a nightcap. Whiskey. Neat. And you didn't prepare his drink for him that night? No. Walter, is it? No. I didn't. Sometimes he asks me to, but that night, there was clearly something on his mind mm. that he didn't want to talk about. So, he ignored me, and I went upstairs to bed. case is so close to being solved. We know you did it. Just admit it, okay? Well, we don't actually know who did it. And also, we have to remember what we were told that night by his co-worker. Walter, she's not just another pretty face. She's clearly guilty of poisoning her husband. Charlotte, did you ever feel as if your husband was having an affair? Sure, he probably was. He was a dirty bastard. But he never acted any different at the beginning of the marriage as he did in the end. So we just pretended everything was fine. I like my fantasy world. It makes things easier. On the night of February 3rd, we have a witness who saw a brunette woman standing by Alfred's car waiting for him to get off work. He was extremely angry to see her, so he threw her to the ground and quickly drove away. Do you have any idea who this brunette was? No, I do not know who my husband's mistress was. You don't know who the brunette was? No, I do not know hmm. who my husband's mistress was. Would you consider your house easily to break into? No, Walter. I always lock the door before I go to bed. Did you just, by happenstance, leave it unlocked this one time? If my husband had fought with her earlier that day, why would he invite the tramp over to our house? So then she must have showed up uninvited. Unintended. We know you killed your husband. Just admit it. The idea never even crossed my mind. Calm down, William. All right, Charlotte, I believe you. But we did find traces of cyanide on the inside of his glass, which leads us to believe that it was someone that close to him that poisoned him. Finding my husband dead in his chair that morning. Look, if I had killed him, why would I call the police the next morning to report a murder? Because you're guilty and we know it. If those are all the questions you have for me, I believe I'm free to go. We can't just let her walk away. Thank you for your time, Charlotte. This isn't over, Charlotte. You better find that murdering mistress of his. Oh. Yes, ma'am. <laughs>